Hello and welcome to cycle two, week three. Um, this week we only have one experiment, number nine, called See Through. Um, this experiment is about the rings around Saturn. Um, the question that we have is why can you still see the planet of Saturn? Why can we still study it when it has rings around it? How can we see through those? Um, also, the question would be if the rings are made up of rocks and things floating through space, big chunks of material, why does it look like it's one big continuous ring? Uh, what makes the colors of the ring? Um, and so that is our question. Research, because there's only one this week, would be a great week to bring in some pictures, a book about Saturn, um, what they're made of. So ask the kids their background knowledge. You share some knowledge and experience. Um, and then have them make a hypothesis. So why can, why do they think we can see through those rings that are big rocks and chunks? Why can we see through them? Uh, what are their guesses? And then you're going to do your experiment. So for this experiment, we need three pieces of paper that are about poster board or cardstock. Um, I made cardstock for our example and it works great so we might use that or poster board. Um, three one by six inch pieces of paper. For the littles I'll go ahead and have yours cut in one by six inch strips because this actually takes more time than you would think. Um, and for the older kids I may just give you one inch long strips and they have to count them into three six inch pieces. Once you have your three pieces, you're going to lay them out and you're going to glue them so that they're pretty well equal from each other. And I'll show you what I mean by that. So I'm just putting a tiny little dab of glue um, around them and I mush them around so they look like this. Now yours will be plain, I'm trying to hide my stripes I already did for sake of time, but yours will look plain um, at this point. You will not have done the stripes yet. So you just glue them so they're kind of like a star um, and look like this. Next, you're gonna use a black marker or a Sharpie. If you choose to use a Sharpie, just make sure you put a piece of paper underneath of their, um, of their, paper so that as they draw the lines you're not drawing on the table. Um, so you can use again your black markers, um, dark pencils would work just as well, or um, sharpies. You'll each have at least one sharpie in your bin. Alright, so you're going to make the first line at one centimeter from the edge and then the second one two and a half centimeters from the edge and you're going to do that on each end. You're just gonna rotate and put two lines. Now it doesn't tell us how thick the lines need to be, so just make a line. Um, and it'll look like this. Next step, you're gonna have a parent help you, um, or you can go around and do them yourself. You're gonna have a little tack. The materials in our guide say a safety pin, but they did not work. A tack works great just because it's shorter. Um, you're going to stick this right through the center of our little paper star here without poking yourself. You're going to take a pencil and put it into the end. You want to hold it in there tightly. And then the point of this is now you have this on the top of your pencil. And you can hold your pencil and you're going to rotate it like this tighten my tack. Try to show you what it looks like. Da, da, da. And it appears that our lines become one big ring, which is pretty cool. And this is what happens um, with the rings around Saturn. And so even though there's big rocks and chunks all floating in different piece, places, the way our eyes appear color or observe color, um, 
is that they appear to be like a solid ring. That could be, especially for the older kids, another question that you bring up at the beginning or maybe at the end um, to again encourage wonder. So what about our eyes makes that happen? Why do our eyes think that's one big thing? Is it taking too long for the light to get to our brain um, that it can't figure out? Or what trick is this playing on our eyes that it um, appears to be one solid line? So pretty cool. Um, all right, let me know if you have questions. Bye.